a home cooked meal. Bravo, you still want that? A few laughs with friends. But a few months ago, these men didn't even know these people or this place. Instead, they were traveling across the globe with one goal to reach the U.S. Mexico border from India and seek asylum. This man flew from India to Ecuador and began a six week trek through Central America. Then I traveled by bus or ship. I crossed the sea and I crossed the forest and the jungle. After that, after 45 days, I go to America. But he and more than 120 asylum seekers who were detained at the border were sent to a federal prison in Oregon. Immigration officials had run out of room at the other facilities under the Trump administration's no tolerance policy. More than 50 of the asylum seekers are Indian nationals and most are Sikhs, a religious group from northern India sometimes referred to as Sikhs. They spent nearly three months in prison before immigration attorneys got them out. The conditions were really bad. For a long time, we were not allowed to come out of our rooms at all. We were locked in. An ICE representative declined to comment, citing pending litigation. Now free as they await asylum hearings, these men have found a home away from home at this Sikh temple in Salem, Oregon. <laughs> where people who speak Punjabi cook them samosas and curries and offer their friendship. One of our clients pulled me aside and he was like, hey, so could I just stay in Oregon now? <laughs> he was like, I know that I was planning to go and, and stay with a family friend of mine elsewhere, but I really like it here and can I just stay? Temple member Navneet Kaur was asked to translate for the Indian detainees. Now, most of her waking hours are spent helping these young men who call her mom. She estimates at least 80 asylum seekers of all nationalities have passed through the temple in the past weeks. I didn't even know that this was going to be like so big. It's just something that I was propelled to do, you know, like it was like, I, I want to do this. For these immigrants, a more welcoming side of the U.S. Gillian Flaccus, Associated Press, Salem, Oregon.